all right so chat check this out right um get your comments fingers ready and all that i want to i want to i want to get your thoughts on a lot of things i'm going to talk about today um the first thing is that today was a real serious day for me as a father um my daughter had surgery today i'm not going to get into the specifics of what the surgery was just know that um she had to have um anesthesia and it's scary but um right now her mom is taking care of her for the moment while i while i do this and um while i was at the hospital i had to turn my phone on do not disturb i had to turn it on silent and the crazy thing is my setup is so ghetto on my phone that notifications were still breaking through while my phone was on dnd people been blowing me up all morning talking about pie this is your fault this is the reason why we can't trust 2k now it's creators like you you the reason that they get to do what they doing they just walk all over us because of the way that you support them and i'm like i get out the i get out the hospital you know what i'm saying click my phone on and all that and i'm just scrolling and i'm like i'm like it's my fault that they ain't come out with news at 7 a.m 10 a.m 12 p.m 1 p.m like it's my fault that 2k a company didn't drop news y'all put all that on me i'm like i ain't talked to nobody over at 2k in almost two and a half three years so for somebody to blame me about shit like that shit like that the shit business like practices that. of 2k appreciate the follow you got to, not only do you have to read, but you got to read the room. You got to read the room. You can't blame any creator for anything 2K does. Not only that, it's so much that I want to talk about that I just don't say shit about. I don't say shit about how some creators be on 2K dick so heavy. And then next thing you know, they talking bad about 2K and then fuck up an opportunity later. And then come doubling back. I don't be saying nothing, bro. I be minding my own business, bro. I Listen, I don't need my high blood pressure to get any worse. I've decided a very long time ago that I'm going to leave that shit in the background. Talk about a few couple things. Maybe, you know, inform a few people that still watch me about what's going on in the 2K space. Because that's what people do. They come to my channel to figure out what's the real, what's really going on. And let me tell you what's going on. The 2K roadmap fucked you guys. Yeah. Yeah, man. This two, this little 2K roadmap right here. You know what I'm saying? This this the one. This y'all roadmap. Hold on. First of all, let me move my camera. I like I like my camera over here on this side. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see. I like my camera over here on this side. Yeah, this 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 y'all roadmap, right? This is when they dropped this, y'all said they dropped a, a an atomic bomb. They dropped a nuke on the whole shit. Everybody, I, I went through all them comments. Y'all thought I was just sitting back, relaxing on the island or some shit. Everything that 2K dropped in the last week, I was looking at. I was scrolling, looking through the comments, looking at the dick sucks, looking at all that weird ass activity in the chat. I was looking at all that shit y'all was doing in the comment section. All the shit that y'all was talking, I was, listen, and the worst part is, I'm, I'm the type of person, I'll go to your, I'll go to your page, right? I'll take three scrolls to figure out what type of person you are. I'd be like, oh, oh, this person, oh, he on dick. What? Oh, he was, oh, he, he hated 2K so much three weeks ago. Niggas breaking setups over 2K three weeks ago, but now niggas is hyped for the game to come out. Now we back to the, now we back to motherfucking, what's it, what's it? We back to farming, niggas, niggas working back at X Farms again now all of a sudden. Now it's a lot of shit that niggas want to talk about. Now we back farming. Niggas put their motherfucking overalls on, put their motherfucking boots on, and said, let me get the farming. It's time, baby. We back, baby. We back. Yo, this shit is so fucking funny to me, bro. But the worst part is, they did this before. Do If, if you can't read, I'm going to help you read right now. It's Monday right it says august 5th on my watch d like how can you not read the fine print yes it says august 5th biggest shit on this thumbnail that they tweeted out 
But nigga, you don't see them little ass two words right next to it that say week of nigga? Week of? But you wanna tweet me and, and be in my YouTube comment section talking about this the reason why y'all don't fuck with me is because of what 2K doing? This shit ain't my fault, nigga! This, they doing this shit to y'all! And y'all keep fucking falling for every, each year, you pull your dick out, you're rubbing yourself from the beginning of fucking August, maybe late July, I'll give you niggas late July, to the beginning of August until the game come out. Get your hands off yourself. Wait for the news, nigga, wait for them niggas. I know you niggas got notifications on. You niggas is hungry. I know what it is. Every 2K community nigga is hungry. I get it. But why the fuck do y'all gotta keep coming to me talking about it's my fault? It's not my fault, nigga. Yeah, Mo Rushmore this OOG pod that. I don't give a fuck, bro. Move on or move around. Like, I done passed the torch to so many niggas, bro. I commend so many niggas, bro. Brutal Sim, motherfucking NYC. All these niggas doing news videos and, and keeping up with the actual community. You, you know how stressed these niggas gotta be to keep up with all this fuck shit y'all doing? These niggas gotta report on fuck shit daily. I, I, listen, I turn a blind eye. I don't deal in fuck shit. But it's so much fuck shit going on. And the worst part is, with y'all not reading the fine print, y'all also not reading the room. How the fuck is Sim Nation fucking beefing with comp community for what? For fucking what? What, where are we? The nigga, the game ain't even out. Y'all niggas did this shit last year. Y'all niggas beef for two weeks. Two weeks. Then when the game dropped, it was fucking silence. All the Twitter fucking rooms, what do you call them? The spaces, all the spaces died. EJ went off, took his community to the fucking top, playing every fucking game in a park. All the Sim Nation niggas did what they do, create 37 builds, equip every single animation unlocked to them for their builds, and make rec videos, and then shit on the comp community by going into comp situations. And then shit the comp like community that, did like what they that, did. Like they went to the like same that. fucking stage that been in the game for years and talked about how bad the game was while beating the shit out of other niggas. Ain't this what we do? Ain't this what we do? Y'all niggas do the same thing every year and expect something to change, bro. Why would 2K change the sauce and change their rollout if y'all niggas ain't even changing the content? Y'all doing the same shit every year. So you know what I'm gonna do? Big thanks for the resub there is Darko. I have a Joe Montana football beta code if you want it. <laughs> yo, appreciate that tour one, bro. But yo, and then I'm gonna do exactly what I do. The game gonna come out. I'm gonna play a couple online games with the Cell Squad, create a couple content. I'm gonna make a bill for online. I'm gonna lie to my community about starting my career. Then I'm gonna do to my career six months later. And then we're gonna be right back here for new season again next year. How do you like it? Yeah, I told you niggas the truth, cause I do it every year. I've been stopped doing crazy my career videos since 18, bruh. Since 18. Niggas, it's been five years. Since I could give a fuck. I create the content when I can. I do it when I can. But the most thing that I want to do is just play with my community. If my community ain't feeling the game, guess what? We ain't going to play the game. IKC Nation, we going to move on. We going to do something different. We going to play other games. We going to laugh at niggas. We going to make jokes on niggas. We going to watch a couple streams. We going to react to some shit. And then we going to keep that shit moving. But we are no longer gonna let the 2k25 roadmap just fucking literally brainwash us to the point of saying every day all day the 5th the 12th the 19th the 26th like the 2nd like the 1st like and the 6th we gotta be ready we don't know when 2k is gonna drop the news so we gotta be ready i don't want to take a shower the night before you niggas is treating this 2k25 roadmap as in if it's the night before the game launches for news for news 
You niggas is up at 12 o'clock scrolling on fucking internet saying that China leaked something. You niggas is hoping, swearing to God, you hoping the motherfucking Europeans leak something. This is what this is what this shit has come to. Just to be first to tweet it? You niggas farming that much? You niggas just farm all on Twitter. Got your motherfucking farm. Farm. Oh, I found it. I found I found a blurry screenshot. Oh, I think the news is dropping at 10 a.m. But if I can get it out at 7, nigga, foaming at the mouth for what? For what? What's gonna change? Not a goddamn thing. And then the worst and the worst part is, hey, rent rent is due, I ain't gonna lie. But the worst part is, y'all sit up there and when 2K tweet out anything, the first thing you do is reply to that tweet. You hit, we don't care. And then you proceed to quote tweet it or retweet it. Did you niggas not know that any interaction with a tweet, any social media thing is called engagement? Did you not know that? The moment you put, we don't care nigga, yes you do. You wasted just seven seconds to respond to their post. Obviously you care, but guess what you want? You want to get them 213 likes on your tweet you know and saying you want to be the first person to, to, to spew hate on a post. You want to be like, yeah, look at me, bro. I'm in the top comment for the most hate, baby. That's me, baby. But it don't get us nowhere. It don't get us nowhere. I've been in multiple calls with multiple creators to figure out how do we change how 2K does their business practices. And you know what the worst part is? Every creator always says, I don't know. I don't work for the company. And that there lies the biggest issue. All you are at the end of the day is a consumer to their product. Their product has made so many people money. You don't listen. If 2K, if 2K is a $2 billion company, Yearly, I guarantee you content creation for 2K is probably at, I would say, 700 million. Easily, easily $700 million made total in a yearly span out of all the creators for the game, whether it's streaming, it's reels, it's long form videos, it's podcasts, it's shorts, it don't matter. Millions of dollars are being made from this video game for people that don't work for the company. I I make more than people that work at 2K make, bro. Let that shit sink in. You mean to tell me a nigga ain't gonna make 73 bill videos? Yes, he's gonna make 73 bill videos. You know what 2K gonna do? They gonna make a creator build too. And guess what? All of his fans, all of her fans are gonna make those bills too. Hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, times a hundred, times one fifty, times one point three k, times twenty five k, times one point three million. Oh my God! Keep making them bills, motherfucker. And guess what? It's the week of August fifth. Something is dropping this week. I seen Stax Montana tweet that the stream is coming. So guess what's gonna happen? They gonna do another stream on a Twitch. We all gonna watch it. We all gonna restream it. We all gonna react to it. We all gonna make videos off it. And they gonna get paid 10 times out of 10 off that. They gonna get paid from the stream. They gonna get paid from the YouTube content. They gonna get paid from all the creator content that they might license and, and content ID. They gonna get paid from all the social media promotion. Every time somebody share it to their story, share it to the group chat, it's getting shared. It's money to be made out here, man. And I'm gonna just say this now. If anybody else messages me or tweets me about why 2K didn't drop no news? Let me be completely fucking clear. This is gonna be the last time I say this shit. I do not work for 2K Sports. I do not work for Take-Two Interactive. I am a content creator and rent due, nigga. So get the fuck off my dick and keep it moving. If you wanna create content, fine. I will help your nut ass. 
But if you don't want to create content, you just want to create a problem, suck my dick, okay? Move on and move along. It's that simple, bro. It's that simple, bro. Because shit is getting weird. Shit is getting absolutely weird. You want to you wonder the worst part, bro? While I'm in a hospital, yeah, because shit like this happens from time to time. One of the security guards was like, yo, hold on. I know you, I know you, you. I know you, you. You can't lie. And I'm just like, what's going on, man? How you doing today? It's like, yeah, man, when you, when you first came up off that elevator, I, I knew it was you. I, I didn't want to say. Appreciate you, gang. I'm going to go ahead and take my daughter back to the car now. But, hey, appreciate you, gang. And that's it. Real, real world interactions, bro. Real world interactions. Not this goofy internet shit. This goofy internet shit is weird. It's weird, bro. People want to sound so crazy tough on the internet, and I never understood it, bro. I never understood it. It's like, we don't got to be tough. We shake hands, we have differences, and we move on. That's it. It's crazy. You said I'm cooking? Nah, bro, bro. It's just, it's just, man, look. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be, I don't want to be that guy. But it's like, after years of telling people, that you don't work for a company, you're not getting paid to be silent, you're not getting paid to say good things, you're not being paid to talk about stitching or whatever the case may be. I can't even even make a fucking joke without people taking that shit as the word of God, nigga. How the fuck, how the fuck are you taking my words as Bible verses? You niggas is like, no, that shit was etched in stone what Pod said. That shit is truth. That nigga, that nigga right there, he signed an NDA. What type of narrative have you niggas been pushing for all these years? At this point, I'm I'm worried about y'all. I'm concerned for y'all. I'm so concerned. I'm so I'm super concerned, bro. Is you niggas okay? Now, of course, this is not to anybody that's in here that has, you know, general love for me and, and, and mine and you know what we what we got going on, but it's it's for you. Move 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 out the way. More you. Yeah, I'm talking to you, nigga. Yeah, yep, yep. This is face to face with me and you, nigga. Why is that hurt on your heart, bro? Why is that hurt on your heart? Get it off, bro. Shake it. I'm a good person in real life. Get the hurt out your heart for me, bro. I I know I can't change the way you think about me, brother. I understand. I see where you coming from, but get the hate out your heart. Because guess what? Shit's not shit like that shit like that shit like that it's not gonna change my nigga and and if you keep feeling that way year after year i promise you the day you try to do the shit that i'm doing you gonna understand nigga where i'm coming from you gonna understand it bro so just chill calm down keep keep your comment fingers you know steady you know what i'm saying because niggas be talking about you know these meek mill twitter things and all that shit but i be seeing a lot of niggas with a lot of heavy emotions for no apparent reason, just wanting to argue. Niggas just be wanting to argue for no reason. Niggas and, and niggas know they don't be right. I seen I seen somebody tweet in a comment on one of my posts. He argued with 37 niggas. I counted every person he lined up with. They jumped his dumb ass. Then this nigga asked for the fair one. After getting jumped. After, listen, I know y'all done seen the clips of the nigga, you know what I'm saying, fight back. Fight back, nigga just fighting his whole gang. That's what that shit looked like. 37 niggas beat his ass. Then he proceeded to come back hours later saying, can I get the fair one? I know I know a couple people were offline. I know a couple niggas went home. Can I get the fair one? I just want to say my piece. Like, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I can't save you, bro. I can't save you from what common niggas do. So if you want to be a chat nigga, you got to take the chat nigga consequences, bro. If you getting your ass stomped out with black forces, it's not my fault. Because guess what? Niggas play victim. Oh, yeah, 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 CC. I don't know if everybody in the chat knows, but there was a time a nigga came in my Discord server and asked some, some crazy kind of question. I didn't even respond. The nigga got the goofy beat out of him in my chat. This nigga reported my whole server for harassment, bullying, all this weird activity, bro. That's what we doing. We reporting servers for niggas beating the goofy out of you because you had a, a bad take. Niggas be having a thousand bad takes. I have bad takes. 
Like, I don't give a fuck, bro. We move on. This nigga literally, they're, they're attacking me. I can't get away. Nigga, close the app, leave the server, nigga. What do you mean you can't get away from the harassment and bullying? You act like these niggas followed you to another platform or something. Isn't the type of nigga that will tweet a nigga and be like, yeah, man, I found you from, from Discord. I know this your Twitter, but like, why y'all do that to me in IKC server? Nigga, you're baiting. You, it's like knocking on a nigga front door and saying, yo, I know you one of the niggas that jumped me. <laughs> you're, you're playing victim, my boy. You did that to yourself. That's not on me. That's on you. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like that. Shit like Am that. Am I wrong? Like Chat. Yo, strike, strike me down if I'm wrong. How you get how you get jumped on some chat shit, play victim, and then go proceed to follow another nigga on another platform to continue the argument? Like you ain't just like, are you trying to report every single person that came after you? You you're calling the cops now? The nigga reported the whole server, said, fuck it, indict all them niggas. Then decided, you know what? Indictments ain't enough. I know I just called the feds, but fuck it, I'm calling local fucking law enforcement. I need every nigga round up right now. I can't wait for an indictment. I need every nigga behind bars and cuffs right now. Somebody come get, report him. Bully and harassment. Okay, I got him. Let me get the next person because guess what? I got the screenshot of all the usernames. I'm going to go after everybody. <laughs> come on, bro. Come the fuck on, bro. Really? That's what we doing? That's revenge? That's revenge, bro. Come on, man. What are we talking about, bro? Yeah, oh, of course, bro. Listen, Take Two Interactive is very smart. Um, 2K Sports is very smart in the way they do things. I think that it's it's getting old, though. This this roadmap, it's getting old. Like, we got to come up with something new soon. Like, <laughs> whether it be next year or the year, we got to come up with something. Because this ain't it. This ain't it, bro. We need alpha testing, baiting testing, server testing. We need all that. You know what I'm saying? Let the community literally love the game you have to let the community love the game you know what i'm saying like you have to let them fall in love with the game again and until they fall in love with the game again it's gonna be a problem just just imagine a closed beta a closed alpha you know what i'm saying something they put up on social media the shit that call of duty do you know what i'm saying server testing and stuff like that you're letting people play this shit for a whole weekend like you know what i'm saying you don't got to give them the whole skin of the game i said this in the last stream you don't have to show them 2k25 the skinned version of it like the the brand new city and all of it like pick one of your old courts or pick one of the a, a new court that you might have might have been thinking about building you know what i'm saying pick one of the, like one of the seasoned courts from 2k24 and put 2k25 logos all over it do something you know what i'm saying but let people experience it let people test it if you let the whole community test it and give the community a chance to fall in love with your game they're gonna be there for you bro they're going to be there for you, bro, because the biggest thing that a lot of people want is a demo. But who wants to really play a demo two weeks before the game comes out? Because some people might not even make that window. You see what I'm saying? Like, think about it like this, right? 2K announced 2K25 coming September 6th. They announced it in mid-July. Then you don't announce the demo till August 8th. But the game come out September 6th. But y'all don't drop the demo till August 28th. Like, they're going to be like, bro, you're giving us a demo for 20 minutes. That's how people are going to feel. But through the dev process, if you can somehow do closed betas with, you know, people and, and stuff like that, then you can open it up and then you can do a server test to get as many people on within those eight to 12 weeks of you dev in the game in the late stages. Oh, that'd be amazing. People be up on it, bro. People like, you know what? Now we have a reason to, to, to really pre-order your game, buy your game, download your game account console because people have been testing it, people have been saying good things about it. But with this news cycle, man, they just they gotta get people hyped for it, I guess. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, but but uh Sonic Fire, let me answer your question. What builder do you want in this year's game? Like genuinely asking. I personally like the builder we've had recently. The free formed, I know everyone wants pie charts and archetypes, which I don't. Um, shit was ass. So, what builder do you want? Okay. This is the builder that I want. <clears throat> I want NBA 2K24's builder, but I want the build name 
to be available to see before you go to the next window so you don't have to back out so while you're changing because guess what a lot of people want certain names under their players they want to be a certain build so all these templates that we've had all these creator templates all these nba templates why not make templates for the actual build names that we're seeking if you want to be a a, a two-way stretch five or a two-way glass cleaner or you want to be a a post uh a post shot creating for like if you want to be whatever build name you have they should have as soon as you put your height in then they have a template for you oh you want to be a six seven this shit type like of build. that shit like that shit all right like well let's that. well let's like let's that. put the build out there and this is the bare minimum of what you need in order to become that build so for instance right i'm just gonna put this out there if if you wanna, if you wanna have yo dunes, what's good? Like a roulette of archetypes? Um, no, 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 not a roulette. Boom. So Pete, right? Say, say we boot up two K twenty five, right? And we go in, and they have yo. You can go into the builder free form and do whatever you want. But on this side, we got the the tab that say NBA player builds the uh, the templates, right? Then they got the creator templates. Cool. Then you got the named templates where when you go in. It say if you want to be a two way shot creating uh, playmaker, right? That build will come in and it will have the bare minimum of what you need. So, for instance, if you need to have a seventy seven pass to be that that player, then if you bring it down to seventy six, you are no longer qualified to have that name as your build name when you're finished. So as soon as you load in with the template, you can't, everything that, that's already there is locked in stone. If you, if you take away one thing from that, it changes the build name to something different. And 2K can even pop up and say, hey, are you sure you don't wanna create this build? Because once you take away something, it's starting to become a different build. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, yeah, it's like, it's like automatically like boom, as soon as you go in, it got, specific stats that are needed to be qualified as that bill but if you take one away you are no longer that because when we go in with like let's say for instance um somebody wanted to be like um let's say a t-mac bill right you go in and you try to make a t-mac bill and then you go in and you and you just take all the fucking three point away you like yo that's not that's not t-mac no more that's not t-mac no more you know what i'm saying it's like yo these are all the premium levels that, that you need to have. So like, if it say you need to have a 55 uh, post something, like, all right, I got to put that to 55 in order to get this bill name. But if you choose not to, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, all right, well, I don't want that. All right, let's see what type of build I got. But also while in the builder, before you even hit X and next and the screen pop up and it give you shades of and all that, it should say that right there in the builder. You know what I'm saying? It's to say shades of this person, this person, this person, and the build name before you even hit next. Before you even get to that gratifying, you know, screenshot, splash screen, and oh, this is my build. And once before you even get to that, it should already tell you in the builder. Yo, this is shades of ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. And then you be like, damn, I had shades of Scotty two seconds ago. What did I change? Oh, I changed my perimeter. All right, so I need my perimeter to be shades of Scotty because some people like the gratification of being shades of somebody else. So chat, boom, Discord. This is my Discord. This is my Discord, right? Um, so boom. Well, excuse me, Mr. Breaking Down News. Damn. All right, so chat, check this out, man. Mike Wang tweeted about a half an hour ago, man, about big things coming with Lethal Shooter. Now, if you didn't know, Lethal Shooter already told us that things were getting bigger and better for him in NBA 2K. For 2K25 coming up, he just couldn't spoil it, of course. But they got the new shit with um the Lethal Shooter Gym. So basically, Lethal Zones is coming back to 2K25, but they switching things up. They're giving three different versions. So one week equal one zone, two weeks equal two zones, and three weeks equal three zones. It says for the three weeks version, you face off against Lethal. Now, if I'm being honest, you could cheese this. You could put the difficulty to the lowest. You know what I'm saying? Go in and cheese it. But I don't know. I don't know how that would work. But facing off against Lethal, it'll probably be like one of those like you shoot this many, probably a knockout session or something like that. You just got to keep grinning. 
know what I'm saying? That's all you gotta do. Just keep grinning, and you'll probably get your three weeks. But that sounds that sounds pretty dope. It's just it's just a simple fact that lethal shooter is getting a, a bigger and better look. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, we've had Chris Brickley for years now, and you know, a lot of people just used to get mad at Chris Brickley. You know what I'm saying? They go in there, they expecting something to go their way. It don't go their way. They trying to turn their console off for that bitch save. Chris Brickley scaring them. But now you got Lethal Shooter, you know what I'm saying? When this joint is like, a lot of people didn't like Lethal Shooter joint, mainly because the shit would disappear. Like, you know what I'm saying? You would load into the park. You would go to Lethal Shooter. You would play a rec game and shit. And be like, yo, something's up with my hot zone <laughs> and the shit gone. So like, I'm hoping I'm like with this new shit coming to 2K 25, we they just gotta make sure it worked. That's all. Like that's that's all it really come down to. Just make sure it worked. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, man. I tell you the truth. I'm gonna tell you the truth, cause I fuck with y'all, bro. I do not want to play a video game where I have to continuously have to keep buffing myself week to week, day to day, month to month. What's the point? We are creating 99 overall builds. But for some odd reason, we have to keep splashing ourselves shit with like that, shit like that, shit like that. Shit we have like to that, constantly keep playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon with these fucking boost cards. And now we have to constantly go to Chris Brickley and constantly go to the Lethal Shooters Gym in order to be a hundred percent truly ourselves. This is what I want everybody to do when you stop watching this stream. If you deleted the game, download the game back. I want you to go on the NBA 2K24 and I want you to go to any player and create a roster, any player on NBA roster, look at their attributes, take pictures, and put them onto any my player builder that you can. And then you tell me what your overall is compared to their overall. Once you're done, we are not complete. We have not been complete for a very long time. Um, I said this many years ago that there wasn't any reason to tie in um, their like attributes mixed with awareness mixed with tendencies and stuff like that 2k should allow us to control a lot of that but 2k has still decided to give us a regression system where they used to regress our overalls now they're regressing our badges we are never completely 100 percent the players that we want to be with these builds and when i continuously tell you that 2k needs to change things on the consumer side as far as a 2k vc vault where your vc follow you year to year um item and clothing locker room where your locker can be moved on to the next game from all the items that you pay for with vc that you've earned or vc that you spent your money on at least give us that because they are breaking our pockets on builds that are never truly complete year to year And that's my truth, bro. That's my truth, bro. That's it. That's all. That's that's it. That's all I got. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, King Kong.